I would like to welcome you all uh, in the lecture series of waste management. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to cover the importance of record keeping, control, inventory, and monitoring of waste management system. First of all, I will be telling you why these procedures are required. First of all, uh, the need for record keeping, control, and monitoring. So you know that the documentation, everywhere the documentation is necessary. We should know how much amount of waste is produced, what kind of waste is getting produced, how much amount of waste is getting transferred to the transfer station, from the transfer station, how much amount of waste is moving on to the disposal site, what kind of vehicles people are using, and how many number of laborers are working from morning to evening. Like that, we need to know all the information. So a proper recording record keeping, either it may be like offline or online, or manual register, or it may be like an online mode. Anything is fine, but these are the things which are required. We'll be discussing the significance. Number one, proper records on quantity of waste collection. Variation in the day, month, and year that we can analyze. On February month, how much amount of waste has been generated? For the month of March, what about the type of waste is getting generated? In the month of April, what is happened? So after the rainy season during June, July, what about the status of waste production? Like that, we can have a better analysis. That is why we require these procedures. So we can understand the trends in solid waste generation. It depends on the season or it depends on the demographic parameters, those things we discussed that we can analyze by using this particular data. Anyway, data is required to analyze these info, uh, these uh, uh, like uh, valuable analysis. Otherwise, we cannot, how we can analyze? It is not possible. Then requirement of uh, vehicle in future. Suppose we'll come to know that whether the things are, people are getting burden or not. Those who are managing the waste, are they getting burden? So is the vehicles are sufficient? Like that we can understand. Similarly, allocation of uh, collection crew. Uh, so, uh, uh, which uh, um, which uh, direction people are moving, or for for example, west side, in the people are moving towards the western direction or northern direction. Uh, less uh, like uh, 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 how to allocate the particular waste. How are they free or not? Like that, we can understand. Uh, similarly, identify the disposal options. Okay, suppose right now we are moving on to landfilling. So, is there any burden or is there an impact if you perform the landfilling? Can we go for incineration? Like that, we can have an analysis. Then to determine the efficiency of the crew, the, whether the people are working for the waste, man waste management, are they doing good or not? Like that, we can analyze. To follow the checklist related to waste management. Okay, so these are the importance of like uh, record keeping, control and monitoring. Now, I'll be showing you some, uh, some more information regarding the re record keeping, control, inventory control, monitoring, etc. So, uh, we'll consider the following points also. Uh, here, the following points will be monitored, like this crew num size of crew. Okay, similarly, container type, collection uh, accessories, vehicle size and type, collection route, transfer station, all the information will be uh, recorded. Okay, so if I talk about the crew, crew size, what about the labor cost? Per person, how much amount has to be spent? Distance between the containers, size and type of the containers, then what type of collection vehicles are used. These are comes under crew size because a team is leading a driver, it's a two to three workers and one cleaner, etc. Like that, a team will be running for collecting the waste and they'll be moving on to the transfer station. From transfer station to disposal, also there are other teams like that. If I talk about the container type, so what about the street with the traffic volume, uh, then solid waste generation rate, uh, the density, then uh, standard of living, demographic factor, all those things comes under container type. Collection uh, accessory, like labor cost, uh, then protection of workers' health, are they facing any uh, health issue? Uh, like that we'll come to know. Then vehicle size and type. Uh, what kind of uh, vehicle people are using? Are they using compactor vehicle or non-compactor vehicle? Crew size, then visibility of the transfer station, uh, then street width, the traffic volume, everything will be comes under vehicle size. Uh, then collection route will be increasing street with the traffic volume, the direction of traffic flow, uh, then uh, local topography, whether the uh, like a road is congested or something like that. Transfer station distance between the disposal site and collection area. So what could be the uh, like a uh, distance between disposal site and collection area? The controlling of small and large truck, cost of transferring the solid waste. These are the parameters that is going to be uh, monitored. Even uh, how about the inventory? Inventory in the sense uh, like uh, capital assets. Uh, buildings, uh, then uh, containers, uh, then uh, compactor devices, non-compactor devices. All the things are comes under inventory. Tools, different type of machinery, gloves, mask, everything comes under inventory only. 
So we'll be having a better idea about uh, the various uh, segments which are comes under uh, the waste management. Okay, so we'll come to know whether the resources are utilizing optimally, uh, how much amount of waste is generated per day, how much amount of waste is generated in a year or month. Likewise, we can have a, so many analysis. We can perform so many analysis. Uh, so that is why we require uh, need for we require record keeping proper record keeping then proper control in uh, the proper inventory control monitoring everything is required so if the monitoring is not proper uh, the th the things won't work out properly some auditor should be there okay so mainly for we, we require we need proper data for doing the analysis so you know statistical survey of india they'll be collecting so many number of data from through different uh, geography ge geographical location and they are performing so many uh, data analysis. Even you can go for like a software or any other hardware. Hardware, software, mainly software, software based analysis. So, this is the significance of record keeping, control, and inventory and monitoring. Let me know if you have any queries related to this particular topic. I'm happy to answer that. If you're watching our channel first time, kindly subscribe. So, kindly share this video if the content is really useful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.